Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Tenko T-E-N-K-O-O -O brand. The 300 watt solar LED street light. It's an outdoor light that's water resistant, IP66 rating. It's a commercial solar floodlight. It can be used in parking lots, stadiums, gardens, pathway, garage areas, back of your yard. It's a very bright white light. It has 300 watt equivalent, 360 uh, LED beads to produce uh, a huge amount of lumens, about 10,000 lumens, superior quality. And we're going to test all of this out. It includes, you see on the left there, a remote control and it has batteries also. And that will have a range of about 16 feet so that you control the light while it's up on a pole or wherever it is. And it has all kinds of settings on the remote we're going to show for automatic motion detection and brightness control and different modes we're going to go over which is really nice it has an optical light sensor which is the actual solar array itself which is going to detect light changes and then the actual light itself will show has a charging indicator on there this should light for 16 hours after it's fully charged uh, which is a really long time because it has an included very large lithium Palmer battery. The unit comes with adjustable metal brackets you can see right there. We're going to show how those are used and all the nuts and bolts over there and the socket screws to put this in place. The company provides you three year after sales service warranty, 36 month complete service and sales. Just contact them on the Amazon messaging system. They guarantee 100% satisfaction. So what you see right here is a solar light, the solar panel, the arm pole, a mounting bracket, assembly, accessory set, and a remote control with batteries. So you're all set to go. The unit comes with a nice little instruction sheet and does show you all the information and specifications. For instance, it has a lifespan of 30,000 hours. That's the batteries and the LEDs. Did you tell you that it uses German Epistar for the 730 LEDs? And the battery capacity is 3.2 volts, 30,000 milliamp hour. An illuminated area is 1,444 square feet. So it's very bright, it's going to illuminate a large area. They also have diagrams of the mechanics of it. The solar array itself is very large and it is 21.6 inches by 13.7 inches. Now included is all the mounting hardware to get this thing going. And it has the four nuts and bolts you're gonna need for the mounting on a pole. And you can see it has a very wide range about three inches down to about two inches. So you can use a really wide range of, uh, of a pole to mount this. Now it also includes this nice bracket that allows you to adjust the angle of the solar array and it has the included nuts and bolts right there. Make sure you put it in with the back of the bolt like that and the nut on that side. That's the best way it fits. Then you could adjust the angle. This piece right here gets mounted this way and this is where the solar array is going to sit. When you install this plate on the solar array there's an included tool right here but it helps if you have one of these pliers which just has an angle so that you can get under to hold the nut. So make sure you put the bolt, then the washer, and on the bottom goes the nut, and use the included tool to tighten it up. So there now it's mounted on the solar array. And when you're putting together the solar array mount, you're going to use the four included screws and this tool. You're going to put the bolt on the outside and the nut on the inside. Now there's various angles that you could get 
by changing that bolt and nut right there to those outer holes so that you could change the angle of the solar array. And then the whole angle, left to right, is adjustable. Once you get it in the right position, just lock all the screws with the included wrench or another wrench if you have it. So now that the solar array is mounted, you want to take the LED section of the light and it's going to get mounted, slid on here. And there is two tension screws and the included tool and the included tool to tighten that. You're going to put this through here and you're going to have to loop it through just like that. So to get this to fit on here, you have to loosen these screws first and then they're going to be tensioned down there and then you could change the angle of this wherever you want to have it depending on your application. So then now I have it on there and once again I could change the angle of this if I want to and then tighten it down with the included tool and now we're going to connect it to the solar panel and for demonstration purposes I'm going to take this off so that you could see how this works with the solar array. Now the connector is very simple to attach it only goes one way and once you line it up I recommend you put some white out on there it only goes in one way like that and then it has the cap that you turn to make it totally watertight at that point so for the rest of this review I'm gonna have this separated so that we could send light to the array and show you the operation of the light okay so everything is connected up and I'm going to demonstrate a few things I have the studio light off and I could turn a other light on and off which is pointing to the solar array acting like the Sun so you have your remote and your basic on off operation and the first thing you notice is the LEDs are blinking because that light is charging the battery internally and it has a percentage 25 to 100 there's a little sensor that works with that sensor right there so basic operation is you can turn it on just like that you can see it's really bright it's kind of blinding the camera and you can turn it off and you see how it blinks you have these other modes on here 2 plus 2, 4 plus 4, 6, 6, and 4, 8. 2 plus 2 means the light sensor mode for two hours first, and then it'll go into motion sensor mode. Now motion sensor mode is nice because it, it will detect when somebody walks in front of it. So that little symbol right there is motion detection mode, just like that. So when you put that on, it means that if somebody walks in front of this, it's going to detect that motion using the sensor. So the auto button, so we're going to put this back on and we're going to raise the brightness again. And uh, if you hit auto, then what happens is it's going to go on at dusk and off when the sun comes up essentially. So you have those modes 2 plus 2, 4, 4, 6, 6, and 4, 8 you can set. You also have a timer on here, so if you hit six hours, it will come on for six hours when the sun goes down. If you hit eight hours, it'll come on for eight hours when the sun comes down. And then if you hit off, of course, it'll shut it off and clear those out. And of course, on again and off again. So this is what you want to use here if you just want to have motion detection. And then when somebody walks in front of it, like you have it by your backyard, your barn, whatever, your garage, then the unit will come out of the detect motion. So you have a motion detector light as well as a dust to dawn light, as well as these fixed modes for blending different modes together or fix a six hours or eight hours. And that's the basic operation and I did get really good range with this. I tested it and very simple to use and there's no power switch on this it's all done with the remote 
and of course there's no electrical connection because it's all done with the solar array. Very nice product. So here I have it in the auto mode and the array is getting some of the studio lights. Now to simulate the sun going down, I have a black cover for this. I'm going to cover this up and then you see what happens is the light goes on full bright because that's assume, that's showing that the sun is going down. Then as the sun comes up, the percentage of this gets shown to the sun and then it shuts off to save energy. That's the basic concept here. It's all automatic. And I'm going to show you the operation of the detection mode where it automatically will detect somebody walking in front. So it's in that mode right now. I have the solar array covered to the left and I have the lights off. Let's let it reset itself. It's going to go into a dim mode and then if I move in the room, so there it went to dim and now if I just move my hand, it comes on. So that way you have it in a dim mode just so that you can see where you're walking, but if you get close to the sensor, which is over there, it will trigger it to go to full brightness. And that's really useful. What do I think about the TENKOO brand? The 300 watt equivalent solar LED street light. This is a nice kit, comes with everything you need. As I demonstrated, all the sensors work. It looks really professional, it looks very weather resistant, an oversized solar panel. I think this is a good value, and I think you will too. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert the new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.